Here you're asked to complete a typical heating curve for substances that convert from the solid to the liquid to the gaseous phase or gaseous liquid back to solid. We're told that the pressure remains constant and the temperature will vary. In other words, the amount of heat added or removed. Before I begin completing this problem, I would like to help you create a picture in your mind to help you better understand the concept behind this problem. The typical temperature of a freezer is about 5 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 15 degrees Celsius. So everything in the freezer is thermally equilibrated to that temperature. So imagine you put a thermometer in a small block of ice in the freezer. The temperature would read about negative 15 degrees C. Then you take the block of ice with the thermometer out of the freezer, place it on the counter, and for a short period of time, the thermometer will still read negative 15 degrees. Then you'll notice the temperature of the block of ice gradually increasing. The temperature of the block of ice immediately upon removing it from the freezer is about negative 15 degrees. As two minutes pass by, the temperature of the ice will gradually increase. And if you were to place the thermometer right at the interface of the liquid water and the solid water, the temperature would read zero degrees Celsius, the freezing point of water. The freezing point of any substance is thermal equilibrium between the solid and liquid phases. If you added enough heat for the water to boil, there would be thermal equilibrium between the gas and the liquid phase of the water, and a thermometer at the interface of the liquid and the gaseous water would read 100 degrees Celsius at sea level. We begin with the solid phase only, the block of ice in the freezer. The block of ice is now out of the freezer on the countertop and the temperature of the ice gradually increases until it reaches zero degrees Celsius where we see both solid and liquid, the freezing point of water, thermal equilibrium between the two phases. Once the ice is melted completely, we have liquid only, and we can continue to add heat so the temperature will increase to the point where we reach the boiling point of water, which is at 100 degrees. There will be thermal equilibrium between the liquid and gas phase, and then above the water, gas. And the temperature of gaseous water can be increased.